Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Live Well with Barry that is coming from none other than Paris. We are in the Mignon Cafe in the Montmartre in Paris and I have the pleasure of meeting and talking to this artist that I've been chasing around London and finally found out that he lives in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm here, why not do this show? So we are here with... Hello, my name is Naoki Kawano and I'm a Japanese-born artist, now based in Paris. Now you see, I have been practicing that, but let me tell you, it was a hot mess. So I decided to let him say his name himself, so it's right. An absolute pleasure to have you, lovely to see you, and how is life in Paris with you? Yeah, it's good. So so many galleries here and yeah. there are a lot of museums great yeah. museums and also like a food it's amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> because i saw your work in london at the alternative art fair which other was in art other art fair yeah. which was in russell square yes yes right yeah. was that the first time you showed in london no it's uh, i used to live in london for two years oh, okay yeah and uh, the fair was like a sub time for me right yeah. Okay, so you lived in London for two years, yeah. and you'd shown in London before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then you decided to come to Paris. Yes. <laughs> for what reason? Is it is it bigger? Is it more conducive to your artwork here than it is in uh, in actually, London? Yeah, I loved London a lot. Right. But you know, the, in London, it's quite difficult to get a visa. Right. Yeah. So. But I wanted to stay in Europe, okay. and I loved Paris. So, <laughs> so Paris was the second option. <laughs> no, I'm not second option. Actually, yeah, I wanted to do like a best in Europe. Right. So Paris, and I've never lived in Paris, so okay. I thought it'd be amazing to get like inspired from the Paris. Right. So, yeah. This Parisian inspiration. Yeah. That's right. So how do you cope with the language? How are you doing it? Because you don't speak French. No. You were telling me earlier, you don't speak French. Yeah. You speak English much better than my Japanese, I need to say. <laughs> okay, so you speak English very well, fluently, as you can hear, and Japanese. So how do you cope in, in, in Paris? I speak English. English, in here. right. But sometimes, you know, I can speak like easy French, like a... Um, Croissant s'il vous plaît? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's uh, my right, right. Yeah. That's, the extent, yeah. that's the extent of the, your French. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you're lucky because you're living in the environment and that's the best way to learn the language. Right? Yeah, like so, you, so you mustn't speak Japanese to your girlfriend, <laughs> yeah. okay? <Yeah. laughs> exactly. So tell me your story. Where are you from originally in Japan? I'm from south in Japan, called right. Kumamoto. Right. And uh, it's in the South Island. Okay. And... Uh, Actually, I, I studied English in New York. So you've lived in New York as well? But just uh, six months. Okay. Yeah. And I decided to move that to That counts as living there, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved to London to study graphic design. Right. I want to be a graphic designer mm -hmm. first. But I, when I went to college, I tried many things with my hand. Right. Then i aware that I wanna also like, want to be an artist. Right. Then I went back to Japan. And I worked as a graphic designer, and I decided to come back to power, to London to be an artist, just only artist. So right. So, what time frame was this? What, what, how long and what period was this happening? From the studying in New York yeah. to the studying in London, going back to Japan, coming to London, then I, yeah, back exactly. to Paris. I when, when I, did that journey start? When I was twenty-two. Okay. I went to. New York okay. to study English after I graduated from the Japanese University. Right. And I went to London for the college two years. Right. And I went back to Japan for two years as a graphic designer. I worked as a graphic designer. And I came back to pa London for two years. You see, look, even he's getting confused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I came here to Paris. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, family life in Japan. Are you from a big family? Siblings? Ah, yes, my father had uh, four brothers. Uh huh. And they have uh, like three children for each. Right. So it's good. Yeah, it's uh, like kind of. And yourself, you've got siblings? Yeah. Or you I have a brother for younger brother and younger sister. Right. Yeah. Are they creatives as well? Or are you the, the outstanding gem of the family? 
Actually, my sister is kind of like、uh, in the fashion business. Okay. Yeah. In Japan? In Japan, yes. Right. And my brother is、well, a musician. So it's kind、You're、of like a. a r t i s t and creative. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the genes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. But we yeah, are. I yeah. Mean, your, your sister. Designer in the fashion. No, 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 designer, no but designer. she's、yeah, okay. selling the clothing. Okay. Yeah. And brother? It's a musician.、Um, he won, he won, and、what? you're an artist. You're all creatives. That's a very creative. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> I <laughs> think so. Yeah. Be proud. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so, were they supportive of your journey? Yes, they、yeah. are very. If I decided something, like I want to do、uh, these things, yeah she's never s a y like, no. Okay, just try it. That's it. So,、right. I tried. Yeah. Many How was school like? Did you enjoy in school? In Japan? Yeah. Because、yes. you looked like you were quite a good boy. You weren't a good、oh, really? boy. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I hope, yeah. <laughs> but in Japan, it's very strict. Yeah. In the high school or junior high school. Or,、right. But in the university, it's more free. Yeah,、oh, yeah. yeah. We can use our time as much as you want. Like,、uh, it gets easy, difficult to get into the university, but easy to graduate. Oh, it's、so、difficult to get into university、yeah. there. We need to study a lot. Right. But I had What、again. are the requirements to get into university in Japan? It depends on the university, but we need to study a lot of like mathematics or、like right. English、okay. or everything. Irrespective of the subject that you're going to study, you need to have those subjects as a foundation. Is yeah, that what you yeah. mean? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to be a good boy. Yeah. See, look at that face. He's, he's a good boy. You can see. You look at his face. You know, I was naughty, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, coming to London,、mm-hmm. that happened when? When I was 24 years old. Right. Yeah, now I'm 30. Right. Yeah. 30. Look at those jeans. He looks 12. So unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so unfair. <laughs> You're 30? Yeah. I don't think you were that old. Yeah, really? No. You don't look like a kid. Yeah, really? Yeah. But you know, every time I. If I was in Japan, I'm like、uh, 30 something. Every time I'm looks like older. older. Than, yeah. Wow. I think Japanese people look younger than European people.、Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we all look younger than European people, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. But as you see, p o l a n e x are in style. Artists wearing p o l a n e x I should push up my sleeves as well, but I think I'm a bit too old for that, seeing as I'm 31.、Um, <laughs> yeah. So, when did your dalliance with art that you're doing now start? When did that be- become or come into fruition? When I was in New York, I、uh-huh. went to s- museums、uh-huh. and I saw the Ibi Crane's works. Right. And、uh, that time I was like,、uh, I just wanted to be a graphic designer. Right. But I didn't a w a r e about like, art, how art is like artist life. Yeah. And I saw his works and I felt something. It's his inside. Inside.、Yeah. And、uh, that changed your perspective. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. That's the, I think. Because you're a graphic、impact. designer. Yeah. Right. And what does that entail as a graphic designer? What does, sorry? Yeah, what does that job entail as a graphic designer? Because you said you were a graphic designer.、Mm-hmm. What did you have to do? Because it's very different from this、oh, yeah, artwork I, here,、nope. which we will see in a minute. <laughs> I do like uh, logos or、right. like、uh, oh, okay. different uh, posters, or also I do p h o t o g r a p h Yeah. I do like、uh, web design as well. Okay. So I can do like、uh, total design. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you went to this exhibition, saw his work,、mm-hmm. and you just felt something different and、yeah. just thought you would develop this、yeah, in、I、your own so, way. Yeah. So, just l e t us see some of your artworks here. You talk us through them、okay. so that we, you can explain it. <laughs> so, yeah, like this artworks. <laughs> I really love the texture. Yeah, because you can feel it's texturized.、Yeah. And the paper has a, like this is handmade paper. I, I didn't make this paper. Okay. This is a handmade paper from India. And、uh, I use Japanese pigment, and I, which is called Nihonga. Right. And、uh, it has a, like a, I use very thick Japanese pigment, which is showing the very sta- static texture. Yeah,、okay. it, it is. I mean, 
it's it's something that you actually have to see close up to really get the beauty of it. It's almost like it's alive and coming off the paper. Ah, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I love the, this sandy texture. So yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I like the geometric shapes as well, and uh, yeah, I see that's a common thread that goes through. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> usually I feel like geometric it's very cold, like uh, more like mechanic, more like. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you like. No, I want it to be more like, a, like a soft, more right. like a unique character. This is the theme for me, like uh, to create like each individual unique character now do your paintings or your your artwork each have names series has a name but this i this series yeah, yeah. has a name this so the, this would obviously be all from the same series yeah this yeah. series yeah wow because when i saw you at the art fair i was like yeah there are two artists that i um interviewed mm -hmm. You being one, mm -hmm. and a guy called Onyx. I don't know if you saw him there <sighs> with the 3D um, amazing works he oh, had. Really? But they're out of all of those, because there were quite a few artists there. It was a big exhibition. Yeah. They're the only two that I thought I have to oh, see you. these guys oh, and follow them. So, you know. So this series is called what? Monologue. Monologue. Yeah. Okay. Right, a few pieces here. Mm -hmm. So now we move on to another series, mm -hmm. right? Actually, this is quite a new series. This is the latest, is it? Yeah, it's the latest. Right. Yeah. And I haven't decided the title yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't yeah. got the name yet. You're just creating the words. Yeah. You, haven't, you haven't made the title yeah. yet. Sometimes about the first, but sometimes like a visual first. So. Nice. So did you create these since you've been here in Paris? Yes. Okay. I will, I'm thinking to develop more bigger scale for this series. Right. Yeah. But these are different from the works that I saw you exhibiting. Oh, really? In, in, in the London, other, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. You I had some of these, but the, mm -hmm. the paintings that you had in London were much bigger. Yeah, yeah. I have a bigger box. Yeah. And different material. Yeah. Actually, I really love the materials. I yeah. want to use many things. Like uh, sometimes I use like uh, this, for example, this artwork. I created the paper. Wow. <laughs> it has a texture. I love the texture. It's really textured. Yeah. Actually, this is the foil, kitchen foil. Look and at this. <laughs> that is kitchen foil. Yeah. <laughs> and I press. Uh, hello, look. Kitchen foil. Yeah. And how do you get the color onto the kitchen floor? I put the gush on top. Right. Yeah, so it has like a several layers of the gush. It takes a long time to get the color on top. And what's this series called? Called the uh, Fleur. Fleur. Flower, yeah. Flower, yeah. okay. But I put the French name, Fleur. Fleur. Yeah, yeah, yeah I try yeah, to use yeah. French, yeah. Wow. Kitchen foil. Yeah. <laughs> see, that is creativity right there. That is creativity. Because other people, they just see a chicken foil and, or kitchen foil. They can't even get it out the baking pan. It sticks <laughs> on and, you know, it's a, just a hot mess. And then you can create this with kitchen foil. <laughs> Phenomenal. Now these, this looks like a similar series yes. to the first one. It's, it's the same style. But just bigger. Just, yeah, but more like uh, I, I wanted to express the title, it's Totem. And uh, this is the pairing the symbol of the continuity. So you can continue the. All oh, right, yeah. so you can make it bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. All yeah. oh, right. Wow. Phenomenal. And this is the what series? That's called Totem. Totem. Yeah. All right, because it can just extend and extend yeah, and yeah. extend. I mean, look at these works. This guy, this guy is something else. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. So what is the plan for the future? Where are you? What are you doing now? What Are you creating still? Yes. Are you developing stuff still? What's going on? Yeah, I'm actually recently, it's 
outside it's very cold so i'm staying in my house and keep <laughs> creating my works and also i'm trying to find the galleries in here in paris right yeah and in the future i wanted to stay more in paris so i'm trying to find the galleries and get a new visa and uh, that's the thing you see at this time of year when it's freezing and it's cold and it's wet and miserable that's the time you can stay yeah. in and work yeah. you probably go out in summer and <laughs> get the inspiration yeah, of things yeah. that you yeah. see you, you're around in the nice weather and you're feeling good in yeah, summer yeah. you know what i mean it's like that's where you get the inspiration and then you go home and winter months that's when you get your head down yeah. and do your work yeah right yeah so are you exhibiting anywhere in paris at the moment um no but i will have a exhibit in the showrooms You're right. in interior design from the January of the next year. Okay. Yeah. And also I'm gonna have a solo show in Antwerp. Antwerp, yeah. Right? In the spring. Okay. Yeah. That's the yeah, my plan. So where is your studio in Paris that you work in? I'm or in the, you working from home. I'm I'm working from home but I lent more like a bigger space yeah then i don't because to, to create sometimes you have to get out of your home space yeah. you know if you're at home yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just like yes yeah, so i'm gonna do some work from home and then it just becomes well yeah i'm just gonna watch a bit of tv and then <laughs> oh i'm gonna eat something <laughs> and then work never gets done you know you kind of have to get out of your home space to to really create yeah but i'm best in the montparnasse where montparnasse okay it's in the south of the oh, paris yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's where you live. Yeah, and, and where is your studio? Actually, I'm work? working in my house as well. Oh right. So okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. That's so the, I'm looking forward to seeing the new stuff in the new year uh, yeah. because <laughs> it's just a pity that we haven't got any of your big pieces. Oh, yeah. But we will get those sent in and and inserted in the interview so that people can really yeah, see the 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 um the stuff that i saw mm -hmm. you exhibiting in london which was just as i said mind-blowing that oh, deep yeah. blue stuff uh, you know, yeah. yeah i mean literally deep blue but you had to really look at it to see the different shades of blue yeah. and it was coming off the page it was amazing oh, thank you very so much. Yeah. well enjoy life in paris because it's a great city yeah. and um i look forward to speaking to you oh, in you. the future yeah, because this is really the live well with barry family so you don't just come on and then disappear <laughs> yeah you yeah. you come on and i invite you back and yeah, yeah. then you tell me how things are progressing now what is your website mm -hmm. um so that all these people out there can see your work oh. and buy your work. Tell us the website. Okay. My website is www.naokikawano.com. Now say that again for us. Yeah. N a o k i k a w a n o dot com. Yeah. You see, I would have got tongue tied saying that. <laughs> Very good. So yeah, everybody can just go to the website yeah. and see your work and hopefully buy it. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If anything resonates with you on the show, please, as usual, leave us a message and support these great artists because really the work is amazing. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.